Welcome to Maya's Wonderland. This is my first video. Yay! And today we are going to be reviewing a Polly Pocket. My whole theme of my reviewing center is vintage older toys from the 90s and from the 80s and from the early 2000s kind of center area is what I'm focusing on for all of my videos. So to put today we're reviewing a Polly Pocket. So this is the Sparkling Mermaid Adventure Polly Pocket. It is by Bluebird, like all the other Polly Pockets. The front of it is all purple with the golden letters Polly Pocket on it. And we have some like little decorations on the outside that are like sea life and seashells. Same with the back, but they're not golden as they are on the front. There's a little clip and it's, it's meant to be a book. And up here it's just pink, all pink. And down here it's like pink with little ruffles on to represent the pages of the book. Same on the bottom as the top. And on the spine of the book is just some lines and stuff. And right here there is like some undersea life painting picture with fish and other sea life. Now we're going to move on to the characters. And I put them in a bag. First, we're going to start with the the turtle. And this turtle is just yellow, and it has a little thing on the front so you can put a doll on it. And the bottom has a little one so you can also peg it onto the play sets or onto these little round pieces. All yellow, and it has little details. Next up we have this glittery shell. It might not be showing up on camera, but it is have glitter on it. The back doesn't. It's a little star thing so you can stick it on the playset. This is where you can put your dolls on it, wherever there's not a spot for them when you want one to be there. First, next up we have two seahorses. They're just your classical seahorse, but they're in two different colors, yellow and red, and they look like seahorses. Next up we have a dolphin. It doesn't quite attach to the playset. As you see, all the others have like little circle bases. This one doesn't. So they peg into the little playset. For example, there's like this little shell. See, they peg in, they don't fall off as so. And then this, the dolphin just doesn't stay. It just falls right off. Anyway, it's just a simple purple dolphin. It matches the same color as the book. And yeah, that's the purple dolphin. Next up we have the characters. There's the third one. I think it was in the place at the third one. And um, this is the only bendable figure in the playset. She can sit and it has very little details on it, as you see. This is the other mermaid. This mermaid is just plain and I think it's Polly's friend. I put Polly in the place of the actual figure in the playset, so she's in there. I'm gonna get her out. Anyway, that's the play. Now we're gonna look at the. These are the figures. Put them over here. Now we're gonna look at the inside of the playset. This latch opens to reveal little area. As I was saying, we're gonna ignore that. As I was saying, I put the Polly in the playset. Anyway, this is the little Polly figure. Well, at least I think it's Polly. I'm not sure. Well, which one's Polly? If this one's Polly or this one's Polly? So I'm just assuming that this one's Polly. And this one's like the queen. This is her friend. Or something. Yeah, that's what I'm assuming. I'm mean, just assuming that this is, this is her friend and this is the queen. But anyway, she is pretty colors and like all the other mermaids same now we're going to ignore the characters for a moment and actually look at the playset first we're going to start off with the top floor little pieces can fold up this is glittery it might not be glittery to the camera but it is glittery in real life 
So you, there's like little details everywhere, like little seashells, coral, over here we have vanity, it looks like some more sea life and food. And this thing can be opened and closed easily by this little seashell type thing. This gigantic seashell opens, so does this little seashell. And this thing moves, this thing, so you can put a doll on the little basis I showed you earlier and move the doll around magically. So I'm gonna represent that right now with our Polly, we think. Put her there and she can go in and out of the little doorway. So that's the top and you can hide a doll in there if you want to, that's where the queen probably sits. To the bottom floor we have this really glittery, like not plastic, but like bendable plastic type thing. And there's a little tiny hidden side down there so they can gut down under there so this is like the waves and stuff. This can be lifted up to access the bottom playset. And then these things move, so then you can place something on there. See the little pegs? And place something on there. And then have them swimming. Cool, right? And it all just comes off. And you can place Polly, we think, and her friend on this little spinny carousel type thing and go round and round. It can also be placed on this little tiny seesaw. So they can go up and down and up and down however way they want to. And then it can also go on this weird looking swing type thing and they fall, kind of. You can also pick them into the playset. And yeah, you can go to the side. What I showed you earlier was this little shell piece. There's a little star, a little star peg. You can place the shell, you can get it onto the playset. So then you can have an extra space. So if you put all your figures on and you're like, I need another one, you can just put one right there. And this little piece opens up. It's like a little door. And then inside is a hidden octopus. You can close the door. There's a little fishy that moves up and down. This lights up, this lights up, this lights up, and about at the top, that lights up. And now I'm just gonna have a little display before we end the video of characters placed everywhere around the playset. Before I tell you, it's like, you know, the outro. So you can just place them wherever you desire, wherever your heart desires on this little playset. I'm putting some on the upper floor, you might not be able to see them. This dolphin doesn't have an allotted spot. Oop. Just gonna put them right there. You can have this guy in the swing. Oops, two, because I think they're friends. And then this, that was the mermaid playset. These characters all just come off. And if you notice, these are actually tinier figures than normal Polly. Polly's are normally about mm, that size. And these Polly's are much tinier. They're normally that size in there. They're like that size and they're that size. They're really tiny. So be careful not to lose them. You're really fortunate to find one that was um, complete setted and not missing any pieces. I've seen pieces that are like missing this and these little pop-up pieces, but luckily mine isn't missing any of them. Luckily. So this is what the place that looks like with the light off, just to show. This is what the place that looks like with the light off. Simple, simple. And, and what we're gonna do is now we're just gonna close the place set up. There's no light now. Close the playset up. You have to fold all these things down so they don't get crushed because you wouldn't want your playset breaking, would you? Oh, and I forgot to say this is from 1995. This is my, one of my oldest Polly's and my only one that is fully completed. The light just simply turns off when you close the playset up. Something's blocking the thing. You always have to make sure stuff isn't blocking stuff because these Polly's are very delicate because they're of delicacy. I don't know. Is there anything blocking it? Nope.
Nope, 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 nope. Let me see if this can just be pushed out more. Okay, I think it's good. Close it up. Anyway, this was the vintage Mermaid Polly Pocket. And remember to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel that just got put on YouTube. So don't be surprised if there's no comment, like, and subscribe right when you see this video because we haven't made it yet. <laughs> so, um, but when it does come up, comment, like, and subscribe and hit the notification bell or the notification button, whatever you want to call it, to, to see when my videos come out. So that was the playset for today. And I'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.